One of the hard parts about being a dividend focused YouTuber is trying to appeal to the many different kinds of dividend investors out there. Well, in my attempt to do just that, welcome back to my power five stocks of the week. In this series, I present you all with the leaders each week in the following categories, dividend yield, dividend streak, dividend growth rates, 10 year returns, and the stock trading the highest percentage off of its 52 week high. The only requirements for consideration to be on these lists is that you have to beat the S&P 500 over the past 10 years and have a dividend streak of at least five years. If that's got your interest, let's jump right into this week's list. This week's leader for the highest dividend yield is Capital Southwest, stock ticker CSWC. CSWC is a quarterly payer in the financial sector, paying $2.12 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 11.27%. Capital Southwest has been paying and growing their dividend over the last eight years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 8.05% a five-year dividend growth rate of 17.09% and a payout ratio of 84.8%. CSWC has an ex-dividend date of March 14th and a payout date of March 31st and a single $10,000 investment in CSWC 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would have turned into $94,918.64, which is a 25.23% year-over-year return rate. And that's compared to the S&P that turned into $31,853.84 cents, which is a difference of $63,064.80 over the last 10 years. The leader this week for the longest dividend streak is Cincinnati Financial, stock ticker CINF. CINF is a quarterly payer in the financial sector, paying $3 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 2.48%. Cincinnati Financial has been paying and growing their dividend over the last 63 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 7.21% a five-year dividend growth rate of 6.66% and a payout ratio of 50.11%. Cincinnati Financial has an ex-dividend date of March 16th and a payout date of April 14th and a $10,000 investment in Cincinnati Financial 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then turns into $36,184.41, which is a 13.72% year-over-year return rate. And that's again compared to the S&P that turned into that $31,853.84 which is a difference of $4,330.57. The stock with the best dividend growth rates this week is Universal Display, stock ticker OLED. Universal Display is a quarterly payer in the technology sector, paying $1.40 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 0.99%. OLED has been paying and growing their dividend over the last six years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 44.23%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 58.49% and a payout ratio of 27.27%. Universal Display has an ex-dividend date of March 16th and a payout date of March 31st. And you know the deal, $10,000 10 years ago, only reinvesting dividends since then, OLED would have turned into $45,404.33, which is a 16.33% year-over-year return rate, which is compared to the S&P that turned into $31,853.84, which is a different of $13,550.49 over the past 10 years. And before we get to the stock that's leading the pack in 10-year returns and the stock that's trading the highest percentage off of its 52-week high, please remember to leave a like on the video if you guys enjoy the content, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up with all of that content, and then use the comment section down below to comment hashtag bell squad to let me know you're subscribed with the notification bell turned on. But now let's get to these last two stocks. The stock leading the pack this week in 10 year returns is Lind, stock ticker LIN. LIN is a quarterly payer in the material sector paying $5.10 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 1.41%. Lind has been paying and growing their dividend for the past 30 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 10.17% a five-year dividend growth rate of 8.24% and a payout ratio of 34.79%. Lind has an ex-dividend date of March 13th and a payout date of March 28th. And Lind has some seriously crazy numbers. So $10,000 10 years ago in Lind, only reinvesting dividends since then, would have turned into $358,170.43, which is a 43.01% year-over-year-over-year return rate, which again is compared to the S&P 
that in the same time turned into $31,853.84, which is a ridiculous difference of $326,316.59. This week's stock trading the highest percentage off of its 52 week high is Domino's Pizza, stock ticker DPZ. Domino's is a quarterly payer in the consumer discretionary sector, paying $4.84 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 1.59%. Domino's has been paying and growing their dividend over the past 11 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 19.17%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 19.05%, and a payout ratio of 32.59%. At the time of recording, Domino's is trading 28.53% off of their 52-week high. Domino's has an ex-dividend date of March 14th and a payout date of March 30th. And that $10,000 investment in Domino's 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would have turned into $69,626.64, which is a 21.41% year-over-year return rate. And again, that's compared to the S&P that turned into $31,853.84, which is a difference of $37,772.80 over the past 10 years. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, all of these stocks have beat the market over the past 10 years, and all of these stocks have dividend streaks of at least six years. Use the comment section down below to let me know if you own any of these stocks and how they're doing for you. And if you missed my most recent video that shows my dividend portfolio income from February, check this out right here. But until next time,